These videos are brought to you by MSCCasino.com and the Maco Sporting Club. MSCCasino.com, check it out. You are watching Sports Matters TV. Uh, here now with the, the charity match again in Musgrave Park just before kick-off, joined by uh, John Beresford. Firstly, welcome to Cork. Thank you so much. It's my absolute pleasure. Mm -hmm. I've got to ask you, obviously, being being in Ireland and the, the League of Ireland, you actually, most people won't know, you, early in your career, short, short spell up at, Finn, up at Finn Harps. Do you remember much about that? Yeah, oh, massively. I remember coming out, I was just a young kid at Man City, and my, myself and Paul Simpson. Uh, they sent us out here, they said to uh, to build us up a little bit, to, uh, to grow up was one of the words they used. And... Uh, do you know, it was one of the best experiences of my life. Uh, the only trouble is the, the landlady who looked after me, looked after us too well. I put about a stone on. She couldn't, she couldn't feed me enough. Um, but uh, yeah, I just remember it was, you know, I was only 18 as a kid, but uh, yeah, it, it was very, very competitive. But the, the, honestly, the experience was a special one. You still keep an eye on the results every now and then? You do, you do, as I say, over the years, you know, you, just, you have that affinity with it. You know, that's where it started. And I have to ask you about the good times in Newcastle and what, what that was like and playing St. James's Park in front of those fans at the time. Oh, I say, I was lucky. I joined Newcastle in 92 when Kevin Keegan sort of like the new revolution and uh, I couldn't have joined at a better time. We got promoted and then we were competing with Manchester United for the next five, six years, you know. Um, yes, we never got to uh, to win the title. We, we come third, second, second and you think to yourself, so close. But the experience of playing at St James's Park and in front of Newcastle United fans was just an experience to behold. So yeah, and the good, but the good thing about it is now we, the good times are coming back. Absolutely, and um, they're doing it kind of in a good way too, buying a lot of English players. Um, obviously, with, with with the likes of Trippier, one of the first to come in, mm -hmm. and um, Harvey Barnes and things like that. Yeah, I think what it is is I think uh, the, the manager, you know, is British. Uh, he knows what he wants. He wants, because sometimes you can you can go and spend, you know, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80 million, and you get the wrong player with the wrong attitude. If he's got maybe have got a big ego, you know, it can cause major problems in the in the dressing room. Uh, he does he does his homework and makes sure he gets the people with the right sort of attitude. And I suppose when you first came up in Premier League, no one saw what was going to happen to you so quickly. No, that, that that's the thing of it. It's just, I mean, it's astonishing just how how quickly they've, they've adapted. Um, as I say, Champions League again, which is, is, a, is a special competition. So, the, yeah, it's just great, great times ahead. And what, what's that going to be like, Champions League at St. James's Park, for people who haven't maybe been over there to it? it, it honestly, all I can say, it's not a football game anymore. It's, a, it, it's actually an occasion. You know, to experience 52,000 Geordies going absolutely mentally, it, 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 it's something to behold. Honestly, if you ever get the chance, please experience it. Obviously, you had a great footballing career, but one of the things I just want to ask you quickly about is obviously your MBE for your work against uh, anti-racism charities in football and um, how that how that came about and, and how it's going for you. Yeah, it was something that, you know, when I was growing up as a kid, you know, um, I when I started playing in English schools, you start to mix with, uh, you know, certain black players. And it, it just astonished me, some of the, you know, some of the the treatment that they got. So as I got older, you know, you, you always felt if, if I could help in any way, all I did was just, you go to schools, you just try and educate kids, you know, and give them, you know, give them a little bit of insight to to what it's all about. Um, yeah, it, I was a lucky one. Yeah, I got I got the recognition with an MBE, but there's, there's so many people do so much more than I do. Maybe because, you know, I, I get it into the limelight a little bit more uh, it is why I got the actual award. But yeah, we're still pushing on. We've still got a long way to go, but things are getting better and better. Thank you so much. Enjoy the game. Be sure to check out and support all our media partners. Sports Matters, bringing the sports home.